Greetings everybody, today I have a really freaky looking avocado. <laughs> the long neck avocado. It, it, I mean, look at it. It looks more like a squash than an avocado or like a phone or something. I feel like, like just hold on one second. <laughs> It's it's just so strange Like you started with an avocado like about here Like a Florida avocado and then you just like kept stretching it out to look like this and uh, I'm not sure if this tastes especially interesting. I'm guessing it's just gonna it's just gonna taste like a Florida avocado You know green skin avocado, but uh, we'll see we'll see I'm gonna cut this open and We'll try that in a second, but first I want to thank uh, miamifruit.org for sending this to me this is available over on their website. Guess what it is? Miamifruit.org. So the seed in here is, uh, it's got a very thin, brittle outer covering. So the kernel is just like popping right out. You can get to the kernel immediately, but this is the out actual outer part of the seed. Very thin, very papery, very brittle. It's um, very juicy tasting. It's not like a a Haas avocado that is like really buttery and creamy. This one is a little bit more fruity. It's more like an, a Florida avocado. Uh, I feel like this one is just kind of ripe enough, but could be a little riper. It doesn't taste unripe, but I think it's maybe if I were to let this ripen longer, it would develop more of a creaminess. So what we're gonna do, I've got another one that is riper. <laughs> I didn't want this to be like the thumbnail shot because as you can see, this one is ripe into the point where it's starting to develop some like little dark spots on it. So let's try one that's not as pretty looking, but is probably gonna have a nicer flavor to it. So already you can see the coloring on it is a little bit different. This is lighter than this one. So that is a good sign. Yeah, much better. Um, it tastes about the same, except this one has a little bit more um, sweetness to it. A regular Haas avocado doesn't have hardly any sweetness at all. It's like a zero. This one that was a little bit less ripe, I'd give that a one for sweetness. This one, I would give a two. It's still pretty low, but it's got a little bit in there. Because it's a little bit sweeter, it tastes even more fruity than the less ripe one. Other than that, the riper one is a little bit softer. The texture of it's a little creamier. And the flavor of it is also a little bit creamier. But still, it is not a Haas avocado. It is a more like a Florida avocado. So it's, it's fruity, you know, it's not a savory sort of taste. It's not pure butter, but it's maybe a little bit richer than the one that is a little less ripe. Most important thing is that the flavor is nice and strong. This has a nice strong avocado flavor. I was maybe being a little overly optimistic about the one that was less ripe because, you know, it looks a little bit cleaner and it's a little bit longer <laughs> than the other one. So I'm like, all right, let's start with this one. But uh, I knew, I knew deep down that this needed another day. And give it another day and it has an even nicer flavor. One more thing, I'm going to do something with this avocado. I realize not everybody is um, super familiar with Florida avocados, so here's something that I do when I have an avocado that has a little bit more of a fruit flavor to it and less of just like a plain fat flavor. And by the way, the reason why I make this is uh, 
Some years ago now, I went fruitarian for a week as an experiment. I'm, I'm not fruitarian, but I thought it'd be interesting to do it. And this is one thing that I would make like all the time. It kind of like got me through it because honestly, being fruitarian was real rough. It was a really tough thing to do. But uh, this is one thing that I would do like every morning. I actually made a little series about that. So if you want to check that out, uh, I'll put a link to it below if I remember to put it below. So papaya seeds are actually edible and they have a little bit of a peppery taste to them. Uh, I don't like using a lot of them, but I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Rachel Ray has like her garbage bowl. You can like buy her garbage bowl. Uh, <laughs> she puts all of her garbage in a bowl. You know what I do? I just put my garbage on the counter and then I clean my counter afterwards. Um, <laughs> or I put it in the sink and clean the sink. It's, it's a lazy thing to do, but you know, that's how I roll. And now the secret ingredient, a chili pepper, a hot chili pepper. Yeah, it sounds weird, but it's good. I don't know what kind of mango this is, but I just tried a little piece of it and it's really, really sour. It's like citrusy. Best way to get juice out of a lime, by the way, one of these guys. Okay, I think we have all the contenders in there. We've got papaya, mango, avocado, some chili pepper, a little bit of banana in there. I think we're good. It's gonna be a big mouthful, but I think I've got all the, all the elements. Mm-hmm. So good. I love making that. I don't make it enough, but you know, when I was eating that every day, that got me through the day because there's just so much flavor in there. You got the tartness from the lime, you got the saltiness, you got the heat, you got like the coconut, you know, the little creaminess from the coconut, all that in there. And the avocado is essential. And in this case, I actually think green skin avocados, whether it is a Florida avocado or a long neck avocado or any kind of other type of avocado, um, it works with the flavors of the fruit. You know, if you put a Haas avocado in there, it's fine but it doesn't work as well. They're like a little too soft, a little too buttery. Um, there isn't a strong enough fruit taste to that avocado to like draw it all together. You, you don't get that kind of fruity flavor with a Haas, but you don't get that kind of butteriness from a green skin one. So you gotta just think about it. Think about how you're gonna use it. And in a case like this, real good. Also making like a smoothie out of it, you know, using it in uh, a Haas avoc avocado kind of like way but leaning into the fruit taste also could be done like you put that on avocado toast but maybe put uh, a little bit of um, more of a fruit flavor in it make it more of a sweet sort of avocado toast that'd be a way to do it anyway i think that's about it uh, thanks once again to miamifruit.org for sending me this lovely freaky avocado i hope you all enjoyed watching it guys and i will see you all next time I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.